Adventures of Paws. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Einstein and the Secret of Water Einstein the scientist cat loved asking questions. He was always curious about the world around him. One chilly morning he noticed something interesting. There was frost on the grass, steam rising from his warm bowl of milk and a puddle from yesterday's rain. Why does water look different sometimes? Einstein wondered, twitching his whiskers. Sometimes it's hard like ice, sometimes it's liquid, and other times it floats like steam. He put on his goggles and grabbed his notebook. Time to solve the water mystery. Einstein sat at his workbench. He wrote down what he knew. Ice is hard and cold. Water is wet and flows. Steam is hot and disappears into the air. But how are they all water? He wondered. He decided to test it himself. Einstein took a piece of ice from outside and held it in his paw. It was freezing. He put it in a bowl and placed it near his window where the sun was shining. After some time, the ice started to melt. It turned into water. Aha! Einstein said, writing in his notebook. Ice melts into water when it warms up. He added a note. Ice melts into water. Next, Einstein poured the water into a small pot. He gently heated it over his tiny lab stove. He watched closely. After a few minutes, bubbles appeared and steam floated up. Look at that, Einstein meowed. Water is turning into steam. He jotted down more notes. Water boils and turns to steam. Steam is water in gas form. It's still water, but now it's in the air. Einstein held a cold spoon over the steam. Tiny water droplets formed on the spoon. The steam is turning back into water, he exclaimed. When it cools down, it becomes liquid again. He added another note. Steam cools and becomes water again. Water can freeze into ice when it gets very cold. Einstein thought for a moment. Water is always changing, he said. It moves in a cycle. He drew a picture in his notebook. One, ice melts into water. Two, water heats into steam. Three, steam cools into water again. Four, water freezes into ice. It's all the same water, just changing because of heat and cold, Einstein called his forest friends. He showed them his drawings and experiments. Ice, water and steam are the same thing, he explained. They just change when it gets hot or cold. The animals were amazed. So when it's cold, puddles can freeze into ice, asked a bunny. And when it's hot, water can turn into steam, asked a squirrel. Exactly, Einstein said proudly. Water is always moving and changing, and that's called the water cycle. The animals clapped their paws. They looked at the puddles, the frost, and the mist in the air. Water is everywhere, they cheered. Einstein smiled. Science is all around us. You just need to look closely. From that day on, whenever the animals saw ice, water, or steam, they thought of Einstein and his big discovery. Einstein and the mystery of falling things. Einstein, the scientist cat, loved asking big questions. One sunny day, he sat under his favorite orange tree, writing in his notebook. Suddenly, a bright orange fell from a branch and landed right next to him. Why did the orange fall? Einstein wondered, twitching his whiskers. It didn't go up or sideways. It came straight down to the ground. I need to figure this out. Einstein grabbed his goggles and notebook. Time for an experiment, he said with excitement. Einstein climbed up the tree with an orange in his paw. He dropped it from the branch and watched it fall. Plop! It landed on the ground again. Hmm, he said. Oranges always fall down, never up. Why does everything go down? He tried dropping a leaf, a pebble, and even his favorite ball of yarn. They all fell to the ground. The ground must be pulling everything towards it, Einstein exclaimed, scribbling in his notebook. 
Einstein sat under the tree, thinking hard. If the ground pulls things down, it must be using an invisible force, he said. I'll call it gravity. He ran to his lab to do more experiments. He dropped different objects, a feather, a coin, and a toy mouse, and they all fell down. Gravity works on everything, he meowed. Einstein drew a picture in his notebook. One, gravity is a force. Two, it pulls everything down to the ground. Three, bigger objects like the Earth have stronger gravity. Einstein called all his forest friends to share his discovery. Why do things fall down? It's because of gravity, he explained. The ground pulls everything towards it using an invisible force. The animals were amazed. So gravity is why oranges fall and why we don't float away, asked a squirrel. Exactly, Einstein said with a proud flick of his tail. Gravity keeps us safe on the ground and helps the world stay in order. The animals cheered for Einstein's clever discovery. Thanks for solving the mystery of falling things, said a bunny. Einstein smiled. The world is full of forces we can't see, but they're always there, helping us. Isn't that amazing? From that day on, whenever the animals saw something fall, they thought of Einstein. Einstein and the Mystery of the Rain Einstein, the scientist cat, loved solving mysteries. One sunny morning, he sat by the window watching the sky. Suddenly, the bright blue sky turned gray and drops of water began to fall. Where is this water coming from? Einstein wondered, his whiskers twitching. It's not coming from the ground, so where does rain begin? Einstein put on his goggles, grabbed his notebook and said, It's time to figure this out. Einstein ran outside with his umbrella and watched the raindrops fall from the sky. Plip, plop, plip. They made tiny puddles on the ground. He looked up at the grey clouds. The clouds must be holding the water, he said, writing in his notebook. But how does the water get there? Einstein scratched his head and thought hard. Hmm, maybe the sun helps. Einstein remembered how water in his bowl would disappear on hot days. That's it, he meowed. The sun makes water float into the air. The water becomes mist, like magic, and rises up to the sky. He drew a picture in his notebook. One. Water on the ground gets warmed by the sun. Two, it turns into invisible mist. Three, the mist rises and gathers in the clouds. But why does the water fall back down? Einstein wondered. He watched the clouds carefully. When the clouds get full of mist, they get heavy. Too heavy, Einstein said. So the clouds let the water go, and it falls as rain. Einstein ran back to his lab and drew a new picture. The sun warms water, mist rises, it makes clouds. When clouds get heavy, rain. That's why it rains, Einstein meowed proudly. Einstein called all his forest friends to show them his pictures. The sun and the clouds work together to make rain, he explained. The sun lifts the water up and the clouds send it back down. The animals clapped their paws. So that's where rain comes from, said the squirrel. And that's why we have puddles to splash in, giggled the rabbits. Einstein smiled, happy to solve another mystery. Rain is important. It gives us water to drink, helps plants grow, and makes our world fresh and green. From then on, every time it rained, the animals looked up at the clouds and thought of Einstein's big discovery. Einstein discovers the rainbow. Einstein the scientist cat loved to ask big questions. One rainy day, as he watched the drops fall from his window, he wondered, why does the sky sometimes have so many colors after it rains? With his goggles on and his little white lab coat buttoned up, Einstein said, I'm going to find out. Einstein remembered that sometimes, 
When sunlight hit his shiny crystal, it made colors on the wall. Maybe the sun makes colors in the rain too, he thought. He took his favorite crystal, held it in a sunbeam, and watched as beautiful colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, danced on the wall. It works, Einstein meowed. The sunlight has colors hiding inside it. But how does it get into the sky? Einstein grabbed his notebook and ran outside. After the rain stopped, the sun came out. He waited patiently, looking up at the clouds. Suddenly, a big rainbow stretched across the sky. Wow, he said, his whiskers twitching. The sun's light goes into the tiny raindrops, and the raindrops break it into colors, just like my crystal. Einstein scribbled in his notebook, drawing a picture of how the sunlight and raindrops work together to make rainbows. Excited to share what he learned, Einstein built a rainbow maker in his lab. It used his shiny crystal and a little light to make rainbows right on the walls. All the animals in the forest came to see. When Einstein turned it on, bright colors filled the room. Everyone gasped in amazement. Now we know how rainbows happen, Einstein said proudly. The sun and the rain work together to paint the sky. From then on, whenever the forest animals saw a rainbow, they thought of Einstein and his clever discovery. And Einstein kept asking big questions, always curious about the world around him. Adventures of Paws don't forget to like and subscribe. Let the adventures begin. Now available on Spotify.